Well, um, Will uh, was a pretty cool kid. Uh, from day one, he, he just made a massive impression on our life. Uh, he knew what he wanted all the time, and he tried to get it if he could. Uh, he loved his toys, and he loved his animals, and he loved being outside. Uh, he was never unhappy. He was just a really, really great kid. Um, everything was looking very rosy. Will, we had a few drinks on the Friday night, which was um, a week after he'd got the keys to the house. Will's friends come round, they went out for the evening, and the last thing he said to his mum and myself was that he'd be back that night. And I looked at him and said, I don't think you will, Will. And he said, yeah, I will, Dad. And then we had a bit of a, you know, a joke and that, and off he went. And unfortunately, that was the last time we see him um, alive. I had to force the policeman to tell me I had to ask him like three times. He was so, I don't think he knew quite what to do or say. Um, and then he said the words that no parents wants to hear and, and that was that William Funnell died this morning 4 a.m. in a road traffic accident. Um, and that for me is a lasting memory. We pretty well know that uh, Will had got in a car that night with someone that had been drinking and taking drugs and was speeding. He didn't know the guy very well we know that the guy was seen speeding out of Maidstone and, and overtook someone and went round a bollarded island, went through a red light. And we know because he had a black box in the car for the insurance reasons that uh, he was doing speeds up to 96 mile an hour. Well, from day one, I, I just couldn't let Will's name and memory just fade away. If you met him for two minutes, he made an impression on you and everyone liked him. I didn't know anyone that didn't like Will. We have a, a Facebook site, we have a website, the Will Funnel Trust. So, and we have music nights, cake stands, we've got a big gala coming up, um, which is launching the charity, and it's near to Will's, would have been his 21st birthday. Concentrate on the most important thing, which is you driving on the road, or the person that's driving you. And if the person's not driving you properly, and you are worried, get out of the car. Don't say, oh, well, it, it will be all right, because it won't be all right. There will come a time when it will go wrong. So it is very important for road safety. You know, you're never gonna stop all of it, but let's just try and stop some of it.